hello guys welcome back again to my channel this is onyx food hill thank you for joining me in today's video you are going to see how i make this simple delicious beef sauce this is prepared with beef and some crunchy vegetables it's a very simple sauce to pair with a boiled rice potatoes or pasta so keep watching this and see how i make this don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and also share this with your friends. For this sauce, I'll be using beef, garlic paste, ginger, cayenne pepper, chicken or beef stock cube, paprika, curry powder, and dry thyme. Let's quickly set this aside. Bring the beef onto a cutting board or any flat surface. Here I have the beef. Obviously, it is halfway tall, so it's going to make the cutting process very simple. You just want to cut the beef into thin slices so it cooks faster. I'll also make sure I get rid of the fatty part, which is the whitish part you're seeing here. You don't need to include the fatty part, it's very tough, so it's best you get rid of this. Now that you have the beef ready, bring this into a bowl. Into it, you're going to add in boiled water. This is to help remove excess blood. If you don't want to do this directly, you can just steam the meat for 5 minutes to get rid of the reddish color. Now strain out the hot water, leaving only the beef. You now have your beef with less blood. We are going to marinate the beef. I'll be adding in cayenne pepper. Add in half a teaspoon of garlic paste if you like garlic. Half a teaspoon of paprika one stock cube you can use beef seasoning or chicken seasoning for this i'll add in ginger powder dry thyme half a teaspoon half a teaspoon of curry powder and lastly don't forget to add a pinch of salt to test now you just want to toss this and make sure it combines after you must have mixed this properly, leave this to rest for 30 minutes or 1 hour depending on how you want. While marinating the beef, I like to prepare some vegetable for this sauce. I'm using red and green bell peppers, carrots and onion. They are all cut into nice strands and I'm using green peas. Finally, I'll be using this corn flour to thicken the sauce. This is very important for this sauce. Feel free to add other veggies and make this to your own test. To make this beef sauce, we are going to heat up a little bit of olive or coconut oil in a pan. And then add in some garlic paste. Have a teaspoon of garlic paste. Followed with the chopped onion. I'm just going to make sure I saute this for 30 seconds. Then I'll bring the other veggies into it. The red bell peppers will go in, follow with the green, the carrots, just combine everything together. Not done yet, I'll be adding in the green peas. Just feel free to use your favorite veggies. I just love to use these ones, they are really really colorful. Now place the lid over it, let this cook on low heat. Transfer this into another bowl after cooking this for 5 minutes. After emptying this, add more oil to the pan. Just start by adding a little bit of onion to it. And now bring in the marinated meat. I just make sure I brown the beef for 10 minutes. Now 
Once the beef is nicely browned, you're going to add in a cup of water to it. Before it comes to a boil, add in one stock cube. You can add in more cayenne pepper if you like the heat. Of just a little paprika for a pop of color. It's optional. Just a little bit of thyme. If you like, you can add more curry powder to this. After you've added everything, stay and make sure everything combines. Then close the lid, let this cook for five minutes. I'm going to dissolve two tablespoons of corn flour with a little water. This will be used to thicken the sauce. Just add it straight away into the content and make sure you stir. You can actually increase the corn flour and the quantity of water in the sauce if you want more sauce. At this point, the sauce is becoming thick. This sauce has nicely thickened. I'm going to bring back the stir fried veggies, then stir to combine. If this appears too thick, you can add more water to adjust the consistency. After you've stirred and everything is combined, it's important you test for salt and adjust if that's needed. And then place the lid over it, let this cook for 2 or 3 minutes more. After I've cooked this for 2 minutes, this is what it looks like. Obviously, this is thick, delicious and nice. To Guys, this is where we're going to end our cooking for today. Now here is our beef sauce is ready. You can pair this with boiled rice. Obviously, I'll be pairing this with boiled rice. You can pair this with potatoes or with anything you want. This was so easy to make. Let me know what you think about beef sauce, friends. Subscribe to my channel, like this video and also share this with your friends. Until next time, bye!